What Hello. is up? It is evening time. Dinner time. We have showered off all the pew. <laughs> all the turtle poop. Anyway, no, today was really good. You can't talk about dinner and turtle poop in the same sentence. That is gross. I can. Oh, that's true. We are going back tonight for dinner to our favorite non-specialty yes. restaurant that should be one. Shh, don't tell them that. Oh yeah, don't charge for it, please. That's the Solarium Bistro, mm. the Mediterranean menu that was so good, we're going to do it at least twice now. Yes. <laughs> There's more on there. Not a ton of entrees. There's like four no. entree choices, but the appetizer are a little... Mm. Anyway, we're going to eat it. And it's we didn't have lunch, so this is good. Go hungry because they have a lot of options. Oh, I'm okay. Okay. Let's roll out. <laughs> okay. Then we got a lot of fun stuff going we on do. later. So hang in with us and cool. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Hello, rectangles. Hello, Henry. Hello. Oh, that's orange red Henry is nice car. Gotcha. Can we make it all in one shot? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe you are moving. Okay. Yes. Mmm. Oh, they've just opened. Everything is fresh. Look at all this goodness. But of course, at dinner, they're kind of treating it like a full table service restaurant. All right, we've got some sunlight going on tonight, so we're actually not banding. Um, he didn't have any pita bread ready. The chef is working on it. So he brought us um, a whole lot of other hunk of bread. we got two of these guys and two of these guys. And of course, the tzatziki, the baba ganoush, the hummus, and some butter, because that would go well it with this bread. It's good on bread, though, so that's nice. Yes. <laughs> D is rocking what is, an arugula salad. Arugula salad. I think he said it had mango. That might be some, the dressing. Some pistachio and like feta, and it has like an oh. orange vinaigrette or something. It sounded delicious. Gotcha. You had to like go to calamari land again because that was yeah. so good they last time. They look like onion rings. Look how big they are. really do. Wow. And then I got the masaba, which is basically, I'm saying it wrong, I'm sure, but it's kind of like hummus just made with whole chickpeas, and it has cumin and stuff in it, and it sounded good. <laughs> Oh, it's starting to get darker. See the little banding on there? Anyway, <laughs> I got the poblano soup. The end. That was, the, was the soup of the day. Yeah, soup of the day. That was the end of that story. He has gone with some salmon and some <laughs> veggies, broccoli is very colorful, mashed potatoes, very plain. Just kidding. Just they're not as colorful as your other vegetables. Are you remixing your dinner? <laughs> Ma'am. That looks delicious. It does look delicious. We decided to complete the uh, fish side of the menu tonight, and I got the grilled snapper with some grilled vegetables and some potato wedges. Yes. The darker it gets, the more we band. Anyway, D got the chocolate cake again because really it was delicious. I decided to try the other dessert because there's only three official desserts on the menu, which is that cake, the baklava, and crema catalana. So I got crema catalana and a hunk of baklava. Oh, and I pointed at myself, it doesn't ban so bad. That is funny, like the, when the natural sunlight went away and all that's in here is mostly artificial lights, you just get the weird camera effect. But I've learned, just don't fight it because you can't get around it other than filming on the iPhone, which hopefully that's been working out okay. I haven't checked any of the footage yet, so we'll see. Are you going to say anything else? That's it. Oh. You got more to say? No, I think we're going to say, um, if you come here, I don't know that somebody always like comes to your table and <laughs> helps That's you. true. We keep seeing people go up to the buffet. I think that's how it's supposed to work, but we were so dressed up when we came the first night. He's like, no, no, it's it. I'll take care of you. And he's been doing that tonight, too, so you can go up and get your own food. Yeah, you, it, this might be more of a buffet service kind of a place, but um, he's just been really nice to us, so I don't know. If you come here, you might have to walk your little hoop boo up there and get your own food. I have no idea. But anyway, we're enjoying it. And he has finished us off with two cappuccinos because we are very, very spoiled. I don't know. Wow. Maybe you can ask for that. He volunteered. We did. And we're like, we yes, this, please. Well, no, yes, for coffee. Yeah. Yes, for coffee. <laughs> Ooh, cappuccino. Now we are headed back out to the boardwalk. Come on over. That guy's creepy. Don't listen to him. It's finally time for us to see Hero, the Watcher Show. We are going back to the Aqua Theater. It's in about 45 minutes, but we're going to see, maybe go get a seat, see when they open. 
So here at the back of deck six, near the giant fishy thing. Yeah, but they are open and seating, so we're going to find some prime real estate. They said avoid the first row because it's a splash zone, but somewhere in this intersection. All right, we are ready for the show excitement. I've been waiting for this. I don't know much about it. This, like a water show on a cruise ship. That's yeah. amazing. And we caught a glimpse of it last night. It looked Not pretty much. epic. Yeah. Anyway, there's going to be lots of flipping and splashing, splashing and squishing down the splash. the first splashing. couple of rows, apparently it is like, what do they call it? The, the splash zone. The splash zone, yeah. So don't do that. Let's see like that. But I believe you can record, so we're gonna try to bring you probably with some royalty free music over it as much excitement as we can. <laughs> Due to the safety of our performers, flash photography is not permitted. However, if you do take pictures with your mobile devices, please ensure that your screen brightness level does not disturb other members of the audience. Got a little bit of motion happening back here. We keep seeing like Every time we hit a big wave, like the water in the pool underneath the floor gets a little agitated and comes out. I guess that's the first row of the audience. Huh. Oh, hey. Yeah, kind of like that a little bit. And then it comes down the stairs into the first row. You know, this is the part of the job that I really, uh, unfortunately, don't like doing. But as you can see, uh, due to our swells and We unfortunately will not be able to move forward with this production of Hero. As you know, this theatrical production involves aqua, super nice swimmers, high divers diving from 17 meters, and when the pool is sloshing back and forth and it's so unpredictable, our swimmers need all the water to be in the pool at exactly the height that it's currently at. We are going to automatically reschedule this show to day seven, that's Coco Cay, same time, 8.15 p.m. And uh, just to show you how ready and how excited we were to move forward, uh, we want to invite the cast out here to say hello. So please welcome the cast of Hero, ladies and gentlemen. We thank you so much. Thank you to our cast, of course. We're going to make the, uh, the swap in ASR, so your reservations will automatically transfer over. So again, thank you so much for your understanding. And again, this show will be rescheduled to day seven, Coco okay, same time, 8.15. Thank you again so much and have a wonderful evening. So no hero for us tonight, but that is all right. Safety first. For sure. Maybe we will get to see it on day seven. All right, now we're testing something. It's 828 and I'm trying to see. You, there is no bar there. We are, this rising tide bar could be the death of me. Next departure, 830 and it is 829. It was full. Oh, that I see. Look, it is moving. Okay, so it does move. Proof that it moves. We've seen it move twice. All right, good enough. You know, if we can't explore one interesting bar concept right now, we'll go explore another interesting bar concept right now. All right, rising tide. We're going for bionic. Whoop, whoop. Got little touch pads here. Place your card or bracelet above to log in. I like how it shows over here most popular cocktails by gender. Hey, me. And like age and all of that stuff. And the Thank you. future is now. So we have two menus. You can check classic or signature. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Once you go in the I'm menu. Go classic. Oh. The drinks with the popular retail like by the stars, right? Uh -huh. For you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Well, let's examine. Oh, wow. Tom Collins. I like a Tom Collins. Gosh, they have like 100,000 drinks. Okay. We're taking a trip to Long Island. Oh, $12. There's the recipe. Sure. <laughs> Add to cart. Ooh. 16, 16, oh yeah, service charges, gotcha. Order sent. Like, almost everybody might like this Oh, this little robot, oh my gosh, look at him go. Never gets tired, never have to pay him overtime. You can't really uh, make friends with a bionic bartender and have him like do easy pours and, if I slip you a dollar, will you make it a double? No, okay, bionic bartender doesn't play that. 
Yeah, mine has to keep going up to the bottles a whole bunch because that's how Long Island's work. <laughs> Oh, okay, check the progress up there. Gosh, I, w I went over. Yeah, yours is finished. Mine is still. <laughs> so yours took like two seconds. My guy is still digging alcohol out of the ceiling. Come on now, you can do it. Ooh. Oh, I see. He didn't shake mine. He just. Oh, he dumped half of it on the counter. Homie. <laughs> Wait a minute now. Oh, there it comes. Ding! Handcrafted by professional robots. It's tasty. Yeah. Mine was done like 10 seconds. I know, mine was complex. It wasn't even like started. But here we are, living that fancy bar life. It doesn't go floating up and down to deck eight, but that's all right. Nah, this is good. It's fun. All right, we killed time at the Bionic Bar until about nine o'clock. I'm wondering if this is going to depart at nine o'clock or how this works. Hey, we asked him what time does the bar get ready to ride up. He said, as soon as you step foot on here. So they are ready to roll. It's nine o'clock. We're heading to deck eight in the slowest <laughs> elevator ever. But it's the best elevator ever, probably. But now we have to get another drink. Four minutes. Okay. All right. Goodbye, deck five. Bye-bye, four minutes. <laughs> I know. We've made it to deck six because there's the schooner bar, which we have not really visited yet, but hello, schooner bar. <laughs> We're getting ready to uh, get to where we can't really see much of the promenade anymore. Ordered a couple of drinks because, you know, it's the right thing to do. If you're using their elevator, you have to at least show some appreciation for the beverages. So our last little peek at the promenade as it goes bye-bye. Oh, my gosh, and I see Central Park. This is miraculous when you can get on it and there's a free chair. It's amazing. What's up, Central Park? We have. And just like that, we're on deck eight. <laughs> now we might be seven and three quarters right now, but we're very close to deck eight. Boom, deck eight. It's like magic or, you know, just technology. It is almost 9.30 now and time to ride back down to deck five. We will have completed two full cycles on the Rising Tides Bar. We've only tried this for what, four days now, I think. Every time I'm like, that thing does not move, it does. You just have to be patient. Proof. And eventually you'll get there. <laughs> karaoke and let's have a good time tonight I'm gonna sing the first song for you to see you don't have to be good How about that? it's gonna be horrible if you wanna leave you can do now okay before I sing and more much more than this We do go dance. Yeah. It's club time. Studio B tonight has become red, the nightclub experience. Oh, we're 
here to party. This is kind of like lunar landing themed, which is interesting. Holy moly, that carpet. Oh, nice. They've got a little bar set up at one end, DJ down at the other end. You are welcome to join us on the dance floor. Tough crowd to get started, but they've broken out the cha cha slide, so that's always a good icebreaker. Turn it up. Thursday, okay? <laughs> Elevator, get it together. Good try. <laughs> Ooh, we got our Coco Key map. We're going to Coco Key tomorrow. Heck yeah. Tomorrow. Oh, well, yeah, technically. Oh, well, okay. Night, so you're right. I was trying to make a joke, but now I'm technically correct because today is Thursday. Gosh, my joke backfired on me. Whatever. It's still Wednesday in my brain. Y'all. Wait, Nobody can really do anything on this ship. <laughs> can do anything on here. I think we've danced almost every night. I tried to be like a little bit active every day. I think we danced for an hour and a half straight just now, but it That's was awesome. Terrible. That was awful. fun. Should we? That's it. But we're going to bed now because yeah. it's already tomorrow. So, C day today mm -hmm. technically, mm -hmm. and then yeah. Yeah, we're gonna try and do uh, all the stuff we haven't we done got yet. A lot of stuff to do. Still <laughs> the list. On. But join us because you'll want to check it out. Yeah, you will for shizzle. Don't miss it. <laughs> Bye. Love you guys. Bye.